Hey buddy, Brandon Parker, back in with another video. What I'm going to be doing in this video is, since Windows 8 has been out for a while and a lot of people, most of my subscribers are Windows uh, users, I want to give them a tip a little bit about Windows 8, what it looks like a little bit. And yes, it's been out for uh, a few weeks already and a lot of people have done videos on it. I'm going to show you what it looks like a little bit. I'm going to show you what to do with Windows 8 and, and stuff and give you some tips about it and what I think about it and what you should do to make it look better and to enjoy it a lot more and to get uh, uh, better features out of it and you know to enjoy it so that's what I'm gonna be doing in this video so this is what I'm gonna do and show you okay okay this is Windows uh, Windows 8 uh, I'm gonna be showing you uh, what it looks like a little bit and how to get, get it to run really nice and how to get it to you're liking a little bit and enjoying it a little more, something like that. So let's uh, show you the start menu. So there's two, or actually three ways I can get to it. I got three ways because I got a dock on here on my uh, Windows. I have a dock which is called Object Dock, the best dock ever. Rocket Dock, that dock sucks really bad. I really hate that dock. I don't like it. Uh, it's just really hard to edit and not so fun to use. So I really like uh, Object Dock. So what I have on here is it allows you to have a start menu icon on this to get to the start menu. You can use this to get to there to get to start menu. This Windows 8 new new feature. I really like this coming up like this. You can change the color of it. You can have a background there or something. I don't know, but you can change the color of it if you want. And uh, that's pretty neat. And we get to it right here. It would be at the bottom since my uh, taskbar is at the top because Apple Mac has theirs on the top. So I put it on the top there. And I actually have a Mac anyways. And this is boot camp running uh, Windows 8. So right here, this is the boot camp icon right there. Boot camp. Okay. And my third way to get to this, this uh, start menu is right here. You go to the right and there's another uh, uh, sidebar right here. It says searches, share, uh, start, devices, and settings. On the start click there and you get to there okay and settings right here you can shut down or because I have another thing and I'll put this in the description for all the programs that I have that are Windows version of the Mac programs that are pretty much similar so uh, for this you can go to the launch pad and you, this is the start shut down and log out it's all right here so that's pretty neat uh, you can do that, and you can. It's like uh, lunch has pretty neat. See all your applications all together with that. Uh, that's pretty neat. And so, uh, I also want to show you uh, this in the start. Uh, we can go to uh, let's see, let's just go to start right here. Better. So, I have uh, X widget doc uh, open. X widget doc is for your uh, kind of like dashboard. So, I have that open. Uh, okay, yeah, right here. This X widget doc. Exit out of that, and this is the X widget dock. The same thing as dashboard. Okay, and then I'm going to go to here to start, and I'm going to show you uh, a pretty neat games uh, on here that come with it. Updated styles. Uh, first, uh, right here, and that's it. If you want to exit out of these, because it's a little bit confusing, so when you open these up and you want to exit out, go back to your uh, desktop or start menu, one of the two, right here, and you can right click on it and you can close it so right here we're back into it and if you have uh, Apple or not Apple but the Windows logo on your keypad or keyboard whatever Windows logo you can uh, get to the start menu so that's like I think the fourth way so I think there's four ways to get to it so let, let me see that I have right now so three or four ways to get uh, to your start menu if I click on this we're going to close that and you can get to the desktop here too or desktop right here it's on here already, so we're going to get to that. And I'm clicking uh, Command on my Mac to get to this, uh, to the apps. You can search for them right here. Pretty neat. I really like this feature. You can search for any app. Let's search for our computer. Type in, press C. Computer should be around here somewhere. Might have to spell it out. Okay, computer right here. Computer management, computer right there. And this is how you get to your computer. So I already have it right here on my uh, desktop. And click to it right here to get to my computer. Macintosh HD, same thing as the Mac. Everything's pretty much the same. Just like that. I'm going to show you uh, right now. Uh, let's go to uh, back to here to the start menu launcher, whatever you want to call it. Start menu right here. We're going to play with the 
pinball, two effects. Uh, it's going here. Where is it? If I can find it. Let's just search for it because it's just that way. Since I have a lot of programs on here. Or things mixed together. So this is a pretty new game update from the Windows XP version of Pinball. You can get the Windows XP Pinball version uh, uh, for Windows 7, even though it doesn't come with it. You search for it on Microsoft, you search for it on Google, and you can get it for uh, Windows uh, 7, the Pinball XP version. But since Windows 8 is coming out with version 2, I guess, so this is called Pinball FX2 version 2. Pretty new game, has different levels on it. I really like this. Integrates with your Xbox, so we actually have an app on here called Xbox Live, and Xbox integrates together with Windows, because Microsoft created Xbox anyway, so they're going to integrate it with Windows 8. Pretty neat if you have an Xbox account. Since I don't have an Xbox account, I'm not going to log on, so I'm going to skip the log on. I think it's pretty neat. Games on Windows. Windows is uh, pretty much the best place to play games. Mac, trying to get up there, they created a program called Game Central, but really not ready, I don't think, if Apple's ready to play games yet, because everything that I tried on the, on a Mac, on my Mac anyways, hasn't really uh, done so well, they kind of lag a lot, it's the worst ever, doesn't really do everything on, game, on a game that I think Apple Macs can do, because they, they run uh, 3D applications, really nice 3D editing programs, uh, softwares like Final Cut, video editing programs and run that really nice and does not run um, uh, games too well. Windows, depending on if you have a good uh, 3D uh, really like driver or whatever, game driver on there, depending on what you have on your Windows computer, because they have alien co computers and they run games really nice. And the thing running is Windows, so if you have any good, good graphics program, uh, graphics uh, software, or on your installed on your computer, you should shoot run games really, really nice on Windows, and I really that's why I really like Windows because they run games really nice for that uh, based uh, with games. And like I said, and you guys with your Xbox, so you can have a USB Xbox controller and you can play games through your Xbox controller. You can play this because I don't have, I do have a controller that's like an Xbox controller, but it's a, it's a different kind of USB controller. It's more like a PS2 controller. I could connect this to my Mac, but I don't really want to right now. So I'll just go to single player. Because I'm just going to show you this game a little bit, what it looks like. You want to try Windows 8 if you want to try it out a little bit. This is a pretty new game. I really, really, really love it. This is pretty sweet. It, it's a really nice update. Uh, you need an update, and people really liked uh, Pinball for XP. I, I really liked uh, Pinball when it came out on XP. It was a really nice game. I played hours on it, just messing around, trying to get the highest scores I can. Any higher, try to get a million points. It's a pretty fun game. This one, more updated, so it's going to be a lot more fun to play. It's more for kids to play, but it's still fun to play if you're an adult playing this game as me. I really love this game, so it's pretty neat. So you click here. Start playing this game. I don't have a controller, so I, I ain't gonna mess around. I have to mess around with the keyboard settings, the keyboard settings to play this. See? Don't be afraid. I can't hit it out of this control. I'm gonna hit this, and I don't have a control on the left side of my Mac, on the right side of my Mac, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to. But I'm just gonna quit this game. To even play because I don't have another control uh, button on my uh, Mac and only has one. Uh, let's get out of here and, like I said, you right click here to get out, close. I'm going to go to the desktop. Okay, and then what you could do is, uh, uh, well, not what you can do, but what, what, what I'm going to give to you uh, in the description box is uh, links to all the programs that I have on my object doc and to get object doc, the best doc, out for Windows. All this that I have put links to this so you can have the same programs for your Windows that are kind of like that, similar and everything. And that's it on this video. Uh, please comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I just want to tell you what I think about Windows and what I like about it, what I hated about it. Mostly what I hate about it is the layout. Kind of boring. If you uh, install Windows for the first time, you're going to have a boring layout. 
has like a stupid fish, and when it actually when putting up Windows 8, it has a fish, which I think is kind of stupid. I don't really like the fish at all. It, it looks kind of tacky to me, whatever you want to call it. That I don't like, but the operating system itself, the update, pretty nice. Consumer preview, pretty nice. Kind of has bugs with it, of course, because it's a consumer preview, but I really like it. Kind of wishes it still need, need, needs to kind of act like I'm back a little bit. It's kind of easy to have that a little bit, just to make, make it a little bit better. So that's why it needs to be kind of have a dock to organize your desktop and have uh, fences. What I have is like fences, so configure fences, you can have that. And it runs pretty nice. Uh, you can configure fences. And Star Dock creates it. The same person that creates Object Dock creates fences. And there's like a paid version of it, but the free version does enough. Does pretty good. And what I have is just one fence. And I have it, uh, the appearance transparent so that it could keep the icons on the right because they want and keep going to the left on the on the windows. Just want to go into the left. So that's why I have them on the right with fences so they can stay there, locked together, doesn't move, and I just keep it there like that. Right click somewhere on it, and you can uh, mess around with it. Uh, the view, let's go to here. Uh, yeah, the view, mess around with that, lock your fence. I would lock it to keep it there like that. I like it all the way on the right like that, kind of like Mac. Or you can double click to hide it. I just keep it showing there so it still looks like a Mac. So because a lot of people they don't really have uh, on a Mac anyways they don't do that high there's and stuff I really like this and stuff windows right here shut down right there if you want with that the power button all right here that's why I have this because uh, I created this power button start it's like your start it gets to there you have the power like that a little bit that's why I did that and that's it. Call me, subscribe. Like I said, uh, check out my second channel, which is SpyMac. I uploaded uh, about a week and a half ago uh, a three-minute project that I worked on in film school. Uh, I'm going to the college film school. I started there this semester. It's my first semester there. I'm running a little degree in film, something with cinema photography. I really love doing stuff with Photoshop images. And I'm going to do something with movies, do that a little bit. And cinema photography is kind of messing around with images a little bit and stuff. So that's why I'm... My I, I decided to go for a major with that a little bit. So I'm excited doing that. I mean, do a lot more videos in May, not so much in, in April, because this much in April, this um, month, I'm going to be doing my last project, which is the five minute project, and I'll be uploading that on my second channel, which is Spinock. I'll be uploading that then. And I'll be uh, doing more gaming videos on my third channel, Fantasy, Fantasy Art, or Fantasy Art, however you want to pronounce it, or. Fantasia R, however you want to pronounce that channel. I kind of renamed it like that so you can pronounce it however you want. Fantasia R or Fantasy R or, or something, or however you want to pronounce it. I just random name when it came up with, messing around, trying to be different with, with gaming videos. I do classic games there right now. I haven't done much yet, and I would like to do more in May. I'm going to do a lot of videos and stuff on all three of my channels uh, here in the summer, when the summer comes up in the end of the semester. So that's it. Comment and subscribe, and I'll put a link uh, to my other channels at the end so you can check them out and, and see what I have there and check out what I've been doing uh, over over the year and everything what I'm doing a little bit and what I'm going to do in the summer. And that's it. See you later, and that's it.